Hello, everybody. It is Monday, the 4th of December. And yeah, what are we talk about? It? Um, or boss got several games in now, having a blast playing. Um, <clears throat> really, there's yet to be anything I have any issues with. Really like the activation, it's kind of uh. It's card driven, but yet uh, you have some control over it. You have a pull of the dice, draw a card uh, one through six. The dice you have rolled, if you draw like a two, all the two, you can sign the twos to the units you want to go. So you do have some control of it. It is still random with who goes and random with the dice. But uh, adds that fog of war of mm, not for sure. Know who's going to go or when. Um, really like the reaction um, part of it. Um, you just don't stand there. If someone charges you, shoots. Even if they like say shoot you and they miss, you still react. So even if they don't do any damage, you could run away. You can counter charge. And what's really cool about this, each faction's Reaction table. Oh, that's my printer. Hopefully, it's not too loud. Um, it's different. So, my Winkies are very aggressive. So, they're more likely to charge. Munchkins are more likely to stand and shoot. Um, and then it's based on the type of unit cavalry, infantry, and um, artillery. So, we've had enough games. We probably got the rules down. 95 percent um it is um line column and line movement um it's not uh willy-nilly it's definitely a formation game which can make it a challenge of moving guys and uh positioning them we've actually been playing with smaller base units so we get the the units based Regiment space on two by two. It could be a char a challenge. Uh, you're going to have ten inch long units and trying to get them through a gap or something. Uh, could be interesting. Could be tough. So maneuvers going to going to be huge. Um. So yeah, we'll probably get uh, probably Thursday night. I think we're playing some more games. Uh, the plan is. Um, to um, take it to conventions, working with um, the main players, uh, War Boss, uh, Russ, which is Old Glory, uh, creator of the game, uh, then working with Buck, who wrote the rules, and then Mark and Chris, which is their main demo guys, uh, to support them. Um, Make a deal, big deal, big splash. Siege of Gus, I think we were having four games being played. So, excuse me. I didn't get to drink all my coffee this morning, trying to get too, too many irons in the fire. Um, but anyway, um, hopefully, working on list of conventions we will be attending in one form or another. And also, the reason the printer's running, uh, I do have the rights for these buildings. Um, working up, printing a bunch up. Mike and Sabrina are painting them. We're selling them at conventions and hopefully get them up online. Also working with uh, Russ, um, contacted me last night to possibly getting them up on his website, which is cool. So I'm working with the creator of the, the um, STLs, um, trading emails on how we're going to do this. Definitely doable. Just got to work through the process. So, um, yeah, it's something I've always wanted to do is uh, take games to conventions, sell everything except the table. But everything on the table, um, I think it will make uh, be a big hit. Um, I will have a few of us playing the store. Once again, it's definitely a game that's not for everybody. Kind of niche. Um, but we're Really cool, very whimsical, but definitely have the tactical feel of, uh, if you will, Napoleonics. So, going to be interesting. 
Now, what I've been doing right now, printing and pricing, getting working on pricing for painted and unpainted. Loving the new printer. It is it is cool. It's the quality is but the speed is incredible. Uh, the enders aren't bad, but they're slow. And uh, yeah, this they're yeah they're not the quality. Of course, you're looking at uh, six, seven years, and we just went blank. Um, am I still there? I think that was my printer. Yeah, I'm sorry. The um, what's cool about this printer? I know I'm jumping around everywhere. Is um, it's Wi-Fi. So I can load files up on my laptop and just shoot them to the printer. Uh, it was just, I guess, it got notification that it was printing back to me. And uh, I lost myself there for a second. You can see it printing up here in the corner. Uh, the first layer does slow. But once it gets that first layer uh, done, you'll see it's going to fly. And once again, that's a bamboo P1P. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it basically, I got four Ender 3s, but basically it's doubled my capacity. What else? We just, uh, right before this, uh, the post lady brought by, uh, Warsaw. So we got a big shipment of, um, Infinity. Uh, get that checked in, get that to the guys. Also got a big order of War Cradle coming in. Um, that's still doing very well in the shop. Uh, be taking that convention. Zeph's gonna be running that at Siege of Augusta. Um, I want to, and I know I've said it last couple of videos for the War of Oz. Uh, we're we got some stuff painted. Uh, I want to get some pictures of it, talk about the minis, talk about the units, talk about the factions, um, kind of do a little background. I think that would be, like I said, really fun. Uh, get some more content out there for Wars of Oz. Um, yeah, I think that'd be cool. Um, what else we got going on? Um, holidays, it's crazy out there. I went to Sam's Sunday morning, and usually you go Sunday morning at, at 10. Okay. It's you know, you and one other person. It was crazy three or four deep in the checkout line, parking lot was a nightmare. Um, it's over in the other side of Peachtree City. Getting back was crazy. Traffic was, it was crazy. It's crazy. Gotta love that holiday spirit. So, um, yeah, I won't be doing that going out anymore on the weekends till after Christmas. So, I'll have to do my usually Tuesday or Thursday runs to Sam's or other places. Um, what else? But yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, I guess that's about it for now. Um, I said if I get my act together, I definitely want to do another short video of uh, on Wars of Oz. And sorry, I, my sinuses, I can't breathe. I feel like I'm having to talk and breathe through my mouth. So it sound a little funny. That's why uh, I need to track down some allergy medicine or something so i can breathe um let's see oh football yeah georgia tech's going to the bowl game georgia lost so sad uh but i think the team that's really getting hosed uh from my my view is florida state uh they won the acc all that good stuff and uh, not getting the goal to um the championship one of the top four teams, even though I think they were ranked third in the current poll. Anyway, next year they'll fix that when they take 12 teams and probably be too many teams at 12, eight, whatever. Too many. And, but you know, that's good. They have some up upsets uh, like uh, Columbus and soccer in the MLS. They uh, upset Cincinnati, came back from two goals to win three to two. They actually uh, like Columbus. A good team, play good soccer. Um, what else? Oh, the weather. That's, I don't know if it's allergies or just the weather. Every time I walk outside, it seems like it's uh, 
the weather's changed. Um, and I, I walk with my dogs every morning before I come in and, you know, uh, definitely have them to wear layers because we start and it's cold by the time the end of the walk and I'm like hot and unless the wind's blowing, then I'm cold again. So I guess it's that December time period. So, um, but yeah, enough rambling. Um, look for more on Wars of Oz. I'm very excited working with everybody. Um, definitely we'll get some pictures up on Facebook and uh, check it out. Uh, it's, it's fun. And uh, yeah, I, I like the whimsical. So with that, we'll talk to you guys next time. <laughs>